Oh, g'day. My name is John, and this is another video in a series of videos that I'm doing on these little Chinese diesel air heaters. And the subject of today's video is the exhaust system and exhaust mufflers. Okay, before I start, I'll go over again. I've been over it a number of times. Is in these little heaters, they've got a sealed combustion chamber. And they only have a little tiny fan blowing air in. In fact, this is the fan here. So it's a little tiny fan. It's not like a, um, um, a turbo charger on a, on a motor car. And it doesn't have positive displacement pistons sucking the air in and, and pushing the exhaust out. It just has this little tiny fan. And this is a closed combustion chamber. So the, the inlet air, air comes in here and the exhaust comes out there. If you create any restrictions, either in the intake or the exhaust, then you will have incomplete combustion in here, you'll have smoke, you'll have carbon and soot buildup. So not only is it important not to have restrictions here, but it's important not to have restrictions in the exhaust system. And it, and it doesn't take much to create the restrictions. Now since um, the Chinese copied the, um, the Ebus Batcher, little Ebus Batcher heater, one of the best places we can go for information is into the Ebus Batcher manual. And they will tell you um, the parameters of the exhaust system. And basically what you're looking at is you're looking at a maximum of two meters and a minimum of 200 millimeters. So, what we really need to look at here is that the minimum length of the exhaust needs to be 200 millimeters, the, the maximum of two meters, and you have a maximum bends of 270 degrees. So what you have to be careful of is say this is a motorhome and you're over a beam. So you're coming around here, you're being tidy going up and over the beam. Well, two things here. First, you must put a drain hole in the lower spot here to allow the condensation and moisture or unburned diesel to escape. And second, you're putting a lot of restrictions in here. So there's 90, 90, 90. So there's your 270 here. Then you've got another 90, 90, 90. So try and have the less restrictions you can. If you have to have a low spot, put a, um, put a drain in it. And if you have to go more than I about 500 millimetres, then I recommend that you increase the size of the exhaust to allow that exhaust to escape. If you put a muffler in, you've got to have more exhaust hose in front of the muffler and less exhaust hose behind the muffler. Okay, we'll come back in a moment to the mufflers. With the mufflers, you've got two basic types come with the kit. You've got this type here where the intake and the outlet are in the middle of the muffler and it's a flow through muffler. So the pipe goes straight through. In here you've got um, the hose is full of holes and then around that you've got an absorbent like a fiberglass material, a noise absorbent material. So this one goes straight through. This here is the baffle type. So the, the hose comes in around in a U and up and out this side here. It's also got holes in it to absorb the noise and it's covered with a, um, a fiberglass material but you can't see through this particular one. Those are the two that come with the kit. This here is a dirt bike muffler and um, some people use these. They're a, a flow through muffler, a larger size and good if you're going to go for a, a larger exhaust if you've got a, uh, a longer exhaust and you need to make it larger here I've just put two together now if you ask most people they will tell you that this baffled muffler would be quieter than this one but that is not the case and we'll see I'll show you that in a minute the other thing with the baffled muffler is you're creating restrictions and you're creating more restrictions 
so here we have it coming in it comes down and it's more of a, a V than a U shape but you've got angles here angles here angles here so you've run out of your 270 degrees um, so before you even get out here if you can it's better to avoid this sort of muffler and go for the straight through type now oftentimes you can't because that's all you get with the uh, with the kit but if you have a choice um, you're better going for the the straight through muffler all right we'll come back in a minute and we'll do the actual testing okay i'm back now what we'll do is we'll manually set the uh, heater at three hertz so that's three cycles per second which is probably um about mid about mid range mid to high range on these little heaters I've set the uh, the decibel meter up at 500 millimeters from the exhaust. And we'll start to do the recording. Okay, we'll call that 71. Now I've already done some here, so we'll call that as um, 71 at 3 Hertz we're using the flow through muffler we'll go up and we'll call that 64 the baffled muffler Round it up and call it 66. The dirt bike muffler. Mm, 66, 67. We, we should round it up like we've been doing the others. Call it 67. Now, what if we put two mufflers in? Do you think that'll make a difference? Well, 60-61. Now, I've done a lot of these, these tests on these mufflers. And I've got recordings for, oh, lots and lots of recordings. And as surprising as it may seem, the flow-through muffler is always one to two decibels quieter than the um, the baffled muffler so as regardless of what people initially think this muffler is louder than the flow through and what I think happens is because you've got all that uh, the curves and changes in direction just the same as if you have noise the wind noise coming through the rigging of a boat or coming through the trees it'll scream through the trees because it as it hits restrictions it creates more noise so you're creating more noise here by putting in the um, the baffles and you're not having enough absorbent foam to overcome, overcome the extra noise. The dirt bike is actually a little bit noisier than the baffled muffler and um, why I'm not sure about that because it's a, it's a nice flow through muffler but I haven't created a very tight seal to go onto the exhaust and it would go a little bit less and it'll probably come out about this level. But this is the surprising one. If you run a double flow through muffler, you significantly reduce the noise. So you've gone from 58 to 55 with the flow through. You put two flow throughs in and you go from 64 to 61. So if you want it quieter, <laughs> Two, two in this case is definitely better than one. Okay, recapping. If you, any type of muffler, it'll have a, a little hole in the bottom of them. So they must always be mounted this way so 
any any moisture than that can drain out the bottom the flow through muffler is quieter than the baffled muffler these two mufflers are about the same you could use this if you're making a longer resource and you want to go bigger but if you really want to reduce the noise put in two flow through mufflers and I see some of the kits now actually come with two mufflers and two flow through mufflers I um, I haven't done the test on the double baffle with two baffles mufflers in it basically because the the increase um, in resistance and would be just too great for the little heater and, and you just don't want to be adding in more and more resistance into the heater okay well I hope that um, helps you a little bit in your design and uh, consideration for these little heaters and uh, thanks for watching.